In this video, you'll learn how to create a mega menu using Astra and Elementor Pro. So without further ado, let's get into the topic. Hello and welcome to the Binary IQ. If you're visiting this channel for the first time, do consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell so that you don't miss our upcoming videos. Also, if by the end of this video, you learn something out of this, do not forget to hit that like button. Let's get on with the video. In this video, I'll show you how to create a mega menu. So if I hover my mouse over the shop link, you'll see this mega menu pop up with images and a button. Similarly, if I go to my men link, my women link, my accessories and my contact page. In the contact page, you can see I have a small contact form as well, a map and some text. So you can create this and much, much more using Astra as well as Elementor. First things first, in order to create these beautiful, versatile mega menus, you have to have the Astra premium theme as well as Elementor premium page builder plugin. I'll take you to their websites and these are all the features that come in with the pro version. So we are interested in this nav menu option, which will open the option of a mega menu. And you can see with Astra, you get so, so many options like white labeling, creating different blog layouts, different site layouts, an extreme connection with WooCommerce, different custom layouts, which will be using greater typography options and much, much more. So if you're actually serious about creating websites and using WordPress for that process, Astra theme and its pro version is a must. Like you cannot do away with it. Similarly, there is a plugin, a page builder plugin called Elementor. This is by far hands down the best page builder plugin out there in the WordPress industry. Again, if you're serious about creating websites, like this is a must, you cannot do away with it. Yes, there are different plugins out there which mimic the process of Elementor, but nothing is as good and as versatile and as powerful as Elementor itself. So if you haven't purchased them already, do so. All the links to everything which I'm talking about will be in the description. I'm here inside the features page. And if I keep scrolling down, you'll be able to see how many features Elementor has. Now there are some pro features as written over it. The rest are free. And in fact, I'm strangely surprised as to the number of features they are giving away for free. So there are many features out here. And the list keeps going on and on and on and on and on and on and on. So if you're actually serious, go ahead and purchase it and we'll start off with the video. So right now I am inside my dashboard. In order to open the option of a mega menu, first of all, you have to go inside appearance, go inside Astra options, click on it. Inside Astra options, make sure that your nav menu is activated. So in general, it will be deactivated. All you have to do is click on this activate. And just like that, you are ready for the next step. So step number two, you have to create a menu item. Now I already have a menu, so I'll take you to my front end of the website. So this is my menu. Right now I have different mega menus associated with it. What I'll show you is creating one additional tab here where I'll create one additional menu to show you. So let's do that. So in order to create a menu link, you have to go inside menus in order to go inside menus, go back to your dashboard, go to appearance, go to menus. Inside menus, you can see the different options that I had on my front end. So for example, I had home, I had shop, I had men, I had women, I had accessories, I had contact. So similarly, if I go, I had home, shop, men, women, accessories and contact. So we'll be creating one additional link out here. So in order to create a link, we'll go to this option where it says custom links. I'll just Click on it. In the URL, I'll simply type hash. This creates a dummy link. In the link text, let me write mega menu. So this is what it is all about. I'll click to create add to menu. Once this is done, I'll go back to my custom links again. I'll again create one more link. So I'll put the hash symbol again. In the link text, I'll just write sub menu. I'll click add to menu. So I have my two options created. Now what I have to do is put sub menu under mega menu. So to do that, just hover your cursor over this menu, hold on to it and just move it ever so slightly to the right. And you can see the indent change. So I'll just let it go. And now it's under mega menu. So I'll save my menu. 
go back to my website, the front end of the website, refresh it. And now we have this additional option of a sub menu. So inside mega menu, we had a sub menu. Now let's change it to a mega menu, an actual mega menu. So we'll go back to menus. Let's head over to mega menu again. Just click on this toggle down button. Let's go to where it says Astra menu settings. Let's click on it. And the first option you'll see is mega menu. So I have to enable mega menu. So I'll just click on this to enable mega menu. Now inside mega menu width, some of the other options which pop up, there are three options. So first is the width of the mega menu, which can be either the width of the content, the width of the menu container itself, or the entire full width of the page. So uh, we'll let it be content for now. I'll just click on save. We are not going to change any of these settings because we are going to create something completely different and out of Elementor. So we'll, we are not going to touch the settings of Astra. All the setting which we needed is just this that we have to enable mega menu. So I'll just click out of it. So we have created a mega menu, but now inside this mega menu, what we have to do is go inside the sub menu item, click on Astra menu settings again, we'll be going through the options first. So the first option will let it be make this column as a column heading, we do not want to do that in the menu label. We'll click on this hide menu label. So we do not want this label to do anything. It's just a container which will draw its source from an Elementor template. So as you can see, there is an option of content source. So the content source is where the magic happens. Right now it's set to default. So I can create things out here. There are different options. So there are options for creating a custom text. So you can type your text here and will show we have template options and widget options. So right now we'll be using templates. And in this template, we'll be searching for whatever template we will create. So let's go ahead and create a template. We'll come back to this page later. So I'll just cancel out of it or rather save this option first. Once it's saved, let's get out of it. Now we will be creating a template using Elementor. In order to do that, just go where it says Elementor, go one step down to where it says templates. Inside templates, go to add new. In add new, we'll be choosing our template type. So we'll be creating a section in this case, not a page, not a pop-up. We'll be creating a section. In the name, let's call it mega menu elementor. We'll create template. You will find this library section pop-up where there are many pre-built templates. In fact, we can actually choose one of these and be done with it. So let me show you first how easy it is. And then we'll go ahead changing it. So for example, if I like something out of this, so let's say we like this team section slide, we'll just click on this to view it. Let's just click insert for now. I just want to show you how easy it is to create a mega menu. And then we'll move on to editing and tweaking stuff. So we have our block created. Now there is a lot of spacing in the top. So we'll not touch that for now. We'll just click on publish. Now let's go back to our dashboard. So I'll just click on my dashboard. I will go back inside menus. So go to appearance, go to menus. Inside menus, let's go back to our mega menu, which we just created and the sub menu inside it. Inside the sub menu, we'll again go to Astra menu settings and we'll scroll down to where we just left our templates as blank. So now we'll just type our template name. If I remember correctly, my name was mega menu elementor. And there it is. I'll just click on it. I'll save it. And just like that, we are done. Yes, we are done with creating our mega menu. So let's go to the front end of our website. Reload it. We'll again go to where it says mega menu. And if I hover my mouse over it, you'll see the element you just created the block you just created. And it is as easy as it gets. So now all you have to do is go back where you are creating your block with Elementor, change it to whatever and it will show up in this mega menu. So let's in fact do some of these changes. So we'll just cancel this, we'll just delete this section entirely. So let us try and replicate this contact mega menu where we have a contact form, we have a map as well as we have some of the icons with some text. So to do that, we'll just click on where it says add new section. We'll select this three column layout. 
in the first column we need an icon list so we had an icon we had some text in front of it then we had an icon and text in front of it so I, if i just hover over my contact you can see there is an icon there is some text there is an icon there is some text so for that we have an option in elementor pro so if i just click on this icon to add one of the widgets i'll just search for icon list and we have this icon list option so i'll just click and drag and place it over in this column I'll just click on this list item number one. So we'll be placing our phone number here. So I'll just type some random phone number. I'll change the icon. So I'll just click on the icon uh, where it says filter by name. I'll search for phone. So let's just select this phone icon, click insert. So there it is. In the second one, I'll just type in the email ID. So I'll type in support at the rate, something like raising eyebrows.com so i'll just click on this icon library again go back to filter by name in this i'll type envelope and let's select this open envelope i or let's select this one i'll just click on insert lastly let's put an address too in the last one we'll put some address so let's put 22 bakers street We'll change the icon to the location icon so i'll just search for maps and i have this map icon so i'll just select this click on insert so i have my three options created i just need to change a few visual aspects of it so i'll just click on this one again go to this second option where it says style in the spacing i'll just increase the space between the icons i'll create a divider as well i'll change the color to something obnoxious like a purple in the icon i'll change the color to again a purple in the text i'll leave the text color to be black now let's increase the size of the icons let's go to text now change the typography so we'll increase the size of the text as well so i'll just click click on this edit typography link in the size let's again select 25 now this looks too big so let's go with 20 in the second option now we have to place our map so i'll just go back to my widget option type in map click hold and drag google maps onto this one so i'll select this 22 baker street london in the third option let's click on this and we'll place a form here so i'll just type in form select this form drag it over to this side and we have a form we'll quickly edit it so right now it's showing the label as well as the placeholder so we do not want the label so label is anything which shows over the or outside the text box and placeholder is anything which shows inside it so right now the label is checked on so inside labels i'll just click it to not show or rather hide so this is already looking fine now let's tweak it a little bit further first of all let's reduce the size of the message box so we'll put it to three rows instead of four that looks okay submit button will change the text so we are not going to change these actions after submit and this is not relevant here so i'll just go back to style in the column gap it looks fine it looks fine the label we don't have to worry about that text color we don't have to worry about it in the field so let's change the border radius so we'll put in a huge number so that it becomes round in the button again we'll do the same thing go to border radius and increase the border radius to me that looks fine i'll just click on this height panel to see it in full view now right now the issue is that everything is aligned to the top so i just want everything to be aligned in the middle so that it looks better so what we can do is just click on where it says edit column in the vertical align just click on middle so this goes in the middle we'll go do the same thing to this contact click on middle and we'll do the same thing here so it already is looking good let's change the gap a little bit between these so i'll just click on this edit column again go to advanced so i'll increase the padding all around so i'll just click and put in a value like 20 i think that is less so let's put 30 that is good we'll do the same thing or we could have rather just right clicked 
copy, right click again, paste style, and we'll do the same thing for this one as well. So now everything is properly spaced and it looks very nice. So let's just change the color of this button. So we'll just click on this, go to style again, go to button and inside the background color, let's put in our purple. In the color of the text, let's put white and it looks good. In the hover, right now it's set to the theme default. So we'll just click the background color to change to black. So if I hover over it, the color will change to black. So now it looks fine. So I'll just click on update. So this was in a way a futile exercise because you must have understood what needs to be done. All you can create inside this section or in this page will be available in the front end. So if I go back to my front end now, just reload it, go back to the mega menu, you'll see the option appear. And it is as simple as that. So just to quickly summarize, all we had to do was go to our menu options. We created two custom links. So you can create a custom link from down here. So we just created two custom links and we placed one custom link inside the other or under the other in the top custom link. We just clicked on it, went to Astra menu settings, enabled this enable mega menu option. That's what we did. And once we did that, we went to our sub menu option, twirled it open, went to Astra menu options again. In this case, we just hit the menu label. And the main thing which we changed was inside this content source, we changed it to template and we selected whatever template we wanted to create or we would have created. So we just clicked on save and went out of it, went to templates, created an, a new template and created a section template and the rest is history. So there you have it, a simple, fast, but an extraordinarily powerful way of creating mega menus using Astra theme and the Elementor Pro plugin. So if you're not using these two themes and uh, page builders, I don't know what you're doing. So go ahead go to the link down in the description purchase them and you'll be on your way to creating beautiful websites. If you like this video, do hit that like button. And if you think I missed something, do leave a comment. Also, if you want to see some other videos, do give me feedback and I'll try and make content suitable for you. Again, if you're not subscribed already, do not forget to hit that subscribe button. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell as well. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one.